Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Alejandra. Today we're building with the brand new Sims 4 book nook kit. Thank you to EA for giving me the pack. In the last couple of years I have started to read again and I'm obsessed with reading. It's my favorite hobby now so I was so excited for this kit and I knew we had to build something. So we're actually building my office in our house. This is where I spend a lot of my time and this is where I have all of my books. I have a stunning wall of bookshelves. I have the Billy bookshelves from Ikea if you know them. They don't look exactly like the ones in game but we're using the new modular bookshelves from this pack. They're pretty fun and yeah we're building my office. This is where I work and hang out, play games, etc. Um, it's pretty accurate. Obviously it's The Sims. It's not 100% accurate. The room isn't like super big either but I really like it. It has the perfect wall for the bookshelves and I just love staring at the bookshelves. They're so freaking pretty. But I thought in today's video, we could just talk about books a little bit because books like reading is becoming really popular again, which is something I'm really, really happy about. I guess I'm kind of part of that as well because I only started reading again like three and a half years ago. I think the first year I started reading again, I read 30 books and then the last two years I read 70 books each year and then this is like my fourth year of reading again. I don't know how many books I've read so far, I think 27 or something like that. I really love to read fantasy. Um, I read both YA and adult but I also like to read romance contemporary books. I'll sometimes read a thriller or something. I actually read so much in May. It was my best reading month so far this year, at least with like page count because I do track how many pages I read and I'm not like a really fast reader. I'm actually quite a slow reader. <laughs> so it was a really good month. I started off with The Night Circus, which unfortunately I didn't love it. <laughs> I actually didn't like it at all. I think the writing is beautiful but I don't like books that don't have plot and the book sounded like it had a really cool plot but honestly nothing happens in the entire book unfortunately so it wasn't for me um which is sad because a lot of people love that book but it just was boring <laughs> and then I read Book Lovers because Happy Place by Emily Henry came out and I still hadn't read Book Lovers so I needed to read that. I love People We Meet on Vacation, it's like my second favorite romance ever. But Book Lovers was okay, it wasn't as good as People We Meet on Vacation, I think I gave it like three and a half stars. It was cute, it was a good read. I'm excited to read Happy Place as well because a lot of people have said it's their favorite. Then, ooh, I listened to Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Q on audio. That is the new Talia Hibbert book. That one was cute and fun. I think I gave it like three stars. <laughs> it wasn't that memorable. And then my sister loaned me The Last Thing He Told Me, which is a thriller because the TV show just came out and I wanted to read the book before I watched the TV show. So I read that in a couple of days. I read it really, really fast. Um, it was really like fast and fun to read, but I didn't love the ending. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you are a reader, what was your favorite book you read last month? What are you reading like right now? Um, after the last thing he told me, I read Verity because I wanted another fast paced book. <laughs> I've read a couple of Colleen Hoover books. They're just so easy and fast to read. I usually listen to them on audio. I've liked a couple of them, but this one was horrible. <laughs> I read this as like a physical book. I read it in like three days. I read like 100 pages a day, which is for me, it's quite a lot. I, again, I'm not a fast reader. It was not good and it was disturbing and creepy and I hated the main character and it, uh, people said the twist in that book is so good. I don't know if I agree. <laughs> Anyways, then I just read a graphic novel at the end of the month. Oh, and I'm trying to read the second book in the Crowns of Nyaxia series because I read The Serpent and the Wings of Night in like March and I really enjoyed it. I loved it actually. 
And I wanted to read the second book, which is called The Ashes and the Star Cursed King. And I'm bored. <laughs> the book is over 600 pages and I'm like 250 pages in. I feel like nothing has happened. It doesn't have the same vibes as the first book. And in the first book, we only have like the POV of the main like female lead Oraya, and I like that. But in the second book, we have Rain's point of view as well, which is he is the male lead. And I just, I feel like we didn't need that. <laughs> I just want Oraya's point of view. I don't want to read from Rain's point of view. And there's also so much like political intrigue and stuff happening that I just don't really care about in books. So I don't know if I'm going to finish that, hopefully, because I did really love the first one and I love the novella as well. But if you have read the book, let me know if I should continue reading it because I've kind of put it down for now. And I just started Fourth Wing today because everyone's saying that book is so good. It has all the hype right now. I ordered it and it came the other day and I really want to read it. I'm like 30 pages in and so far it's good. <laughs> I'm excited to see if it turns out being a new favorite. But yeah, <laughs> those are some of the books I read recently. Honestly, I could talk about books for hours on end. This is a really short video and my office is pretty much done. The wall decor, I just kind of improvised because this game does not have anything that I have. Also the wardrobes here, I don't use them. They're for like storage. There's no clothes in there. They're not really built in, but this was similar to what they are. If you live in Finland, you definitely know the kind of wardrobes I'm talking about because every single apartment has them. <laughs> they have like sliding doors. We have them in all the bedrooms. And then off camera, I added some plushies into these bookshelves as well because I do have a couple of squishmallows and a couple of jelly cats because they do think they're so cute and I wanted to have a couple <laughs> on the shelves. So here are the screenshots now. Oh my god, I do have fairy lights all over and around the bookshelves, but I didn't even try to recreate that in The Sims. I don't think I could have, but I totally forgot to do that, but I love it. It's so cozy in here. I love this room. So let me know what you think of my office. I know I didn't talk about it that much, but it's pretty obvious. I love the reading chair in here as well. It's such a nice place to read and stare at the bookshelves. But give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below which book you're reading and what you think of the new kit. I think it's really nice. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what I should build next and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.